Hey guys, this is Iper speaking for the Dutch Damage Clan, and onto today's topic is Battlefield 3 versus the Battlefield 4 beta. The first thing I want to address, and that is probably what everyone else noticed the first time they played the Battlefield 4 beta, is the change in control layout. This only applies for the console players, of course, because as a PC player you can pretty much customize every key and what is set to that key. But for the console players out there, they changed the spot button to uh, RB, which in Battlefield 3 was back, or if you play uh, on PlayStation it was a select. And the knife is now B. I don't know what button it is on the PlayStation, but the knife on the Xbox is now B. And that is, of course, if you put the stick layout or the the button layout at a veteran so yes if you uh, put all the vehicle settings that applies helicopters tanks uh, that was all that was in the beta for the console players but if you put all these controls to veteran of course also soldier button layout if you put them all to veteran it doesn't really work now because the beta is already over but if you put, have put them to veteran that was Basically the, the change I described earlier was the only change that there was made and now I've recently played some more Battlefield 3 again now that the beta is over and I must say at first I wasn't really comfortable with the spot button being the RB button but after playing Battlefield 3 I think DICE made the right decision to put the spot button at the RB button because if you have to spot someone on Battlefield 3, you have to take your left thumb off your left analog stick, which means that you can spot and walk or run at the same time. But in Battlefield 4, you can actually do that now. And, well, at first, of course, I was constantly pressing back to spot people because you just constantly hit that back button, the spot button, and that kept bringing up the battle log menu, but. You know, if you get used to it, it's very, very e much easier to do that. So that is, in my opinion, a change for the good, the control layout. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the quality. And I know on the PC the beta looked much better than Battlefield 3, but actually in my own experience on my TV, on my Xbox, I didn't really see much of a quality change between Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 and maybe when the building in Siege of Shanghai collapsed it the quality might be even worse than in Battlefield 3 but of course that doesn't al that also doesn't apply to PC but only to the console guys out there on the current generation but of course this is only a beta and we can't really judge the quality of the game because I know this was an early build in August and that the game is now already much more polished and you know better looking and of course you can't really put the quality up that high on a system that is so old the Xbox and of course they're just doing this generation consoles very old so yeah that's just about the quality and the next thing is gonna be the evolution and I know this wasn't really a big part of Battlefield 3 so you can't really compare it but I think that evolution is pretty much a good thing I think it's awesome if you have seen that building collapse the first time that just only that sound you know you just gotta take a stand still and take a look at it that was beautiful and of course the evolution on small scale is it just brings another level to gaming it's just amazing I in just in my opinion of course you can have your own opinion about it. The next thing that wasn't really that good in Battlefield 3 it was the weapon customization because you couldn't really customize your your pistol that would be more like a preset. Um, there was not really such a good customization screen and the options weren't that diversive. There weren't that many options. And yes, I'm so glad that they completely fix that in Battlefield 4 because for what we've seen of course in the beta were only two weapons for each and every class the DMRs and you know that sort of thing only two but 
Yes, the amount of things that are available to customize your gun and the way the customization screen looks like is it's just gorgeous. I really like it. So the S in my opinion been a very good upgrade. And the last and final point is pretty much the removal of suppression in Battlefield 4. And you know in the beta I didn't really notice any suppression but I don't really know the ins and outs of it. But when I played um, some more Battlefield 3 I immediately saw all the suppression and it was just so much I wasn't really used to it because I played the Battlefield 4 beta f for a long time and yeah I didn't really notice any of the suppression in that and then when it came back to Battlefield 3 it was like BAM suppression everywhere was constantly suppressed so yeah that was you know that was quite annoying if I may say so but yeah, if you got your own opinions about it, about Battlefield 3 being better or worse than Battlefield 4, of course, the it's just a beta and you can't really tell what the real game is going to be. we just seen one map and yeah, we don't really know but much else. We know about Parasol Storm, of course, that looks so much fun. I, got, I actually got to play that map on first look. It's a Dutch gaming convention, but... Yeah, that the the graphics were really good. It was of course on PC, but they had an Xbox controller next to it, so I could just play. But the yeah, I couldn't really change the the control layout on them. But yeah, for what I've seen and for what I've played, it was pretty good. And yeah, that's about it for today. If you enjoyed today's video, you can share it on Twitter. I put the link for our Twitter in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching.